This is the final project. If you haven't gone through the chapter projects yet, please do so now. Many of these projects set up the file that you're going to use here. So you can't do the final project without doing the other chapter projects first. I'll be here when you're ready, but otherwise, let's get started. We'll start by opening up your project template file. Click Open. Now first things first, let's save this file. You can save it over the top of your project template file if you'd like to. However, I suggest that you save it as something else. That way you have a base template file to use for any other new drawings that you want to start. So click on the application menu, save as, and I've already started one here called project template dash final, but you can call it whatever you'd like. I'm going to click save, and for me, yes, I want to replace it. For you, it should just create the file. Give it a double look up here at the top to make sure you're in the proper file. Now we're going to make our model first. That's what this section is going to do. We've divided this up into a three-part process. The first one here, which will probably be the longest, is where we're going to draw our line work. The second one, we're going to sort of tweak everything a bit. And then in the third and final phase of the project, we're going to annotate our drawing. Since we have everything set up in this file that we need, you know, our layers, our units, etc. You know, let's give it a quick look here. We should be in architectural units, 1 16th precision, inches. All right, we're good. Let's set a layer. Let's make it current. We want to start working on the wall exterior. Okay, that's current. Now we're going to draw with a polyline. Start the polyline command. Type in PLINE. Press Enter. Now we're going to draw a wall. It's our exterior wall, and we can really start anywhere. The coordinates won't matter so much in this process. So we'll just pick a point, any point, and let's get started. Let's turn on our ortho command. Remember, if it's off, then just hit it again and to turn it back on. We're going to start our wall up this direction, and it will be 37 feet. Remember, we're working in feet and inches. Okay, here is the first part of our wall. Now, for most of this line, we're going to be able to just continually draw. Let's come across 16 feet, 8 inches, and come down 7 feet, 6 inches. Now, we've seen this drawing before. We've used it for a lot of different examples. So, hopefully, you're familiar enough with it to where you're going to get an idea of what it needs to look like. Just if you mess up, that's okay. Undo and then go back and start the video over and go through with this. Now we need to draw a 30 foot long section. And we're going to come down 22 feet. We're drawing the outside parameter of our wall. And on the rest here, we're just going to kind of match. We're going to come down if your O snaps are on and your object tracking is on. And you should be able to come here just fine. If not, draw a line straight down. Start the polyline command again. Snap to the endpoint. Come across. And let's use the fillet command. Radius set to zero. And there's our polyline. There's the outside of our wall. Remember to save as we work so we don't lose anything. Let's offset this wall 8 units, or inches. And there's our wall. That's the outside of our building. Let's explode this because we're going to want to work with it. We left it as a polyline so that we can easily offset the interior part of that wall. Now we're going to explode it. This is going to allow us to work with the line work individually. And we're going to create some openings for the doors and for the windows. Use the offset command again. Let's go one foot, four inches. And we're going to offset from the top here. We're going to put in a doorway. That doorway is going to be three feet, four inches wide. And now we need to trim. So let's start the trim command. Throughout the process, I will use some of the commands in the ribbon, and I'm also going to use some commands on the command line. 
Now we select our objects to be trimmed. And I missed. It's all right, restart the trim command and trim away. There's one opening. Now we need some more. Let's go offset, four foot, 10 inches. I'm going to go from here down. Go from here down as well, or here up. And now we want to offset again for three feet. Put a three foot window in here, and one in there. Now, one more window about this wall, and we're going to make it nine feet two inches away from here and from there. Now start the trim command, and let's pick all of this. We're going to trim all these guys, and all of these. There we go, and save. It's a good practice to save early and to save often. You never know when there's going to be a power outage, your hard drive's going to fail, your computer will fail or Autodesk will just crash, especially in a complicated file. This one's not so complicated, and if your machine's hefty enough, odds are you're not going to crash here at all. And that's good. And I haven't had more than one or two lockups or crashes in AutoCAD making these videos, so I'm feeling okay. But still, it's a habit that I've gotten into throughout my years, and I think it's one that you need to get into as well. Okay, so down here we're going to put in another opening for a door. Let's offset five feet, four inches, press enter, and we're gonna come in this way from both sides. And again with a trim command. You're gonna find that a lot of your tools that you're going to use to create your line work will be the line command, the polyline command, and then offset and trim. You're going to use those the most out of things that you're going to create. You know, throw in the occasional arc and circle, of course. We're gonna make one more door, four feet from the end, offset again, and it, the opening will be three feet, four inches. Start the trim command, and let's clean all this up. There is our external wall with all the openings for doors and windows. We're moving along quite nicely now.